Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Greenwood and Milner Show here on Newcastle Fans TV. Myself and Sam are joined by a man who has been a part of Newcastle United for the last 38 years, in which he has seen 31 managers and thousands of players who have done the famous black and white shirt. Derek Wright has been credited as one of the best in his field, if not the best, as head physio at Newcastle United. But he has just recently retired and he is here to tell us all about the reasons why he's decided that now is the right time, along with many, many memories, is Derek himself. So Derek, welcome to the Greenwood and Milner Show here on Newcastle Fans TV. Good morning. Nice to, nice to be here. Good. Well, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning to you as well, Derek. I think the first question, Derek, is why now? Why ha- is this the time? Why, after 38 years, is it time to hang hang up your, all your medical equipment, if you like? <laughs> hang up the machines. Um, I think it was, <laughs> it was probably in the last couple of years I physically haven't been able to do what I would like to have done, I think, first of all. Um, found that a little bit frustrating. I always was a physio who was outside and was out on the field and on the pitch and involved in rehab. And I've I, I str- been struggling with my knees recently. And um, it was a case of looking at the situation. And then I thought, well, maybe in the next... I had intended to maybe go to, to try and do 40 years here. Um, and then retire at 66. That was in my mind. But it, it's it's a bit strange, really, because once once the seed was in my mind, I, I kept thinking about maybe I should start and think about retirement. Um, and then it was obviously the takeover and, you know, the, the buzz and, you know, and then I thought, well, I could go on forever here, really. <laughs> but you can't, you can't go on forever. And I had a discussion with the club um, last season about maybe changing roles, different, you know, doing different sort of aspects of the job, not traveling so much, different, you know, there was all sorts of things, um, permutations really. And I think, one, but once I'd sort of been thinking about it, it was like I couldn't get it out of my mind and I was thinking this, so we, we had a discussion and we came to the conclusion that probably um, a break or a clean break and I'd rather have a clean break, I think, than I didn't want to be, because we were talking about maybe getting someone else in to have a transition from me to them, but I didn't want to be the old physio in the corner of the room, which was just like outstanding his welcome, really. Um and we, we came to a discussion and we just thought it was best to sort of do it now, really. And that was it. I think once the decision had been made and um, I'd sort of got it in my mind that that's what was going to happen and the club were, you know, sort of on board with everything and sort of did a suggestion that we, we still had some connection even you know, I would retire, and and that was it. Really, it, it just sort of went on from then, and it it, it happened. And um, I think partly as well because you you think right, the the, fu- the future really is going to change now, and the, you know we'll hopefully get a new training ground, new facility, this that and the other. And I think it's it's probably just right at the right time for it needs a younger person coming in with um, maybe a fresh outlook and, and to do it that way. You know, I'll be I'll be around the, on the fringes and in the background and, and, you know, somewhere, but it'll probably, you know, just be in there sort of if, if needed or, or doing a little bit, you know, maybe at the academy or, or even women's team or something like that. It's just a, it's just a loose sort of idea at the minute, but we're – you know that was that's in a nutshell sort of what what's happened. And once the once I'd had it in my mind, it was difficult to, for me to get it out in my mind. And um, you know, so it, it's been a it's been a hard decision. Obviously, you know, you could you, you can't go on forever. And the circle of life is, you know, I was 26 when I came here, and I want I want another 26 or a 36 year old to come in in my place, you know, and be part of the you know, an incredible future, which I think is going to be 
there really and I'll I'll be watching from the stands with my with my uh, family you know so that's uh, I'll just go off and start crying now by the way that's what I've, I've just said that <laughs> the thing is the th thing is Derek like in football in particular the word legend is is really overused but I don't think you realize well you might do I don't know but from a fan's perspective, I don't think you realise just how much of a Newcastle legend you are because I'm 32 years old <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to make you feel old, so I apologise, but you've been there longer than I've been alive. So, And the same with Johnny as well, despite his, his hairline. But, um, <laughs> but um, it's going to be very odd for, for fans not seeing you like on the bench for Nottingham Forest on that first game of the season. Um, I know you've had bits of spells in the past where you've not been the man running on the pitch. Because I remember back in the day, Paul Ferris, friend of the show, used to do used to be the one running on the pitch or whatever. But yeah. it, it's going to be very odd. Have you are you going to the game as as you say there with your family or are you? going to stay away a bit get some holidays in get on the golf course what have you have you even thought that far ahead yeah i mean uh, my boys um i've got three boys one works abroad but the two are the two younger ones uh are in the family enclosure so they're just desperate for me to be there trying to they want to see me singing the songs and things like that. you know and just to be a, a fan really and I, I think they think that's quite amusing the thought of me actually doing that um the little one thinks i won't make it up the stairs to the family enclosure so the uh <laughs> i've got uh rickets in my, in my knees um yes it, it will be it will be strange and i think it it's the strange thing is because i was thinking about this the other day i think knowing i know exactly the routine obviously on a match day and i know what they'll be doing in the morning, what they'll be doing just before the game, just before they come out at half time. I know the setup, I know where people stand, where people sit. And I think that's the that's where I'll find strange because I'll know that's still going on and I'm not strapping up Fabian Shaw's ankles or, you know, or rubbing John Joe's calf or whatever. And I think that's the strange thing where i'll be looking it'll be quite surreal really it'll be like looking down from above and and thinking um you know i know exactly what's going on but I, i'm i'm looking forward to it i mean i'm looking forward to in 38 years i've never done it you know and i mean you know i used to be in the leases end when it was all the old leases end but crazy i mean that, you know the the changes are just frightening really and so it, it will be strange and it will be not involved in a match day because you were building up every week to a match day that was the thing that you were you were going for you had a routine i had a routine every day you know and and it's the routine really which which you find you know it's it's sort of strange not to do certain things and you you think you know like the other day i was trying to i went to sign in somewhere and you had to sign your company name and i was just about to sign nufc and i thought my god i don't i don't, I don't work with anyone now, you know? so it was like it was so yes it will be strange i was 26 when i came here you know and i was just a, a young physio really and a, a, a young probably a young fit physio you know and it, it's but it, it it's circle of life like i say i mean it, it uh I think it's time for for somebody else, really.